Hey, so good morning. Welcome again to this another series lecture about electrical wiring simulator or EWS. Today we're going to perform the second activity under the relays module. Okay, so we can click this one and then let's browse for the second activity. So the title of this activity will be the normally open relay. So this is quite an extension of the previous activity that we had, the relay number one. But in this particular activity, we will be adding a normally open contact and a pilot lamp. Okay, so let's click the play. Okay, and then let's analyze first the functionality of our circuit. Okay, so as what we can see here, we have a normally open push button and then we have the relay of the coil. Okay, the same with the magnetic conduct, con, uh, contactor, it is very important to take note of the label of each component here. So as what we can see, we have R1 here and then we have R1 for this particular normally open switch. Okay, so this indicates that uh, this R1 here and R1 here belongs to a single component, which is in this particular case here, the relay number one. So it means that a same with magnetic contactor, if this coil is energized or there is a current flowing through this coil, this R1, which is normally open, will be closed. Okay, so if this will close, so the current now will now be able to flow from the 24 volts through this PL2, hence this PL2 will uh, turn on. Okay, so however, if you release your hand for the in this PB2, the current now will not be able to flow through this R1 here. Hence, it will become de-energized. If this one is de-energized, this R1 will return to its normal state, which is normally open. Hence, the current now will not be able to flow through this PL2. Hence, this will uh, turn off. So to in short, in summary, if you uh, start this 24 volts power supply, this PL2 is turned off. However, if you press this one and hold, this will turn on. And then if you release your finger in this push button, it will turn off. Okay, so now let's wire this diagram here. So same as what we did in the previous lecture, 24 volts to the PB2, to the input of the PB2. Okay, so 24 volts to, oops, 24 volts to the input of the PB2, okay, and then, so this one is that wire, particular wire here, and then the PB2 through the 13, which is here, zoom, it, zoom in, okay, next, the 14 to, this 14 to the zero volts, or to the negative part of our power supply, okay, Next is uh, this one, the 9. Okay, take note, guys, 9.5 normally open. If we are going to check this one in our uh, equivalent diagram here, the 9.5, so 9 and 5, this is the normally open contact for this particular relay number 1. Okay, so the number 9, so we have two options here. We can connect this 9 to the power supply, which is the 24 volts, or we can connect it to the input of the PB2. But I think in this particular case, it would be easier for us to connect it directly to the input of the PB2. Okay, so 9. And then input of the PB2. Oops. 9. to the input of the PB2, okay? And then next is the five, the five to the input of the PL2. So the five to the input of the PL2, so PL2 is here, okay? And then five is here, okay? So input, okay? And then the output is connected to the uh, 14, we can connect this one to the 14 of the relay, which is in this particular this here, and then, or we can connect it direc directly to the negative part of the power supply. But I think here it would be easier if we connect it directly to the negative of the power supply. Okay. And then negative. Okay. Seems correct. Okay, let's click the submit button. And then pass. So it means uh, we got all the wires correct, uh, connected correctly. Okay, so now let's try to simulate this one. If we press this PB2, we can expect or we should expect that this R1 will be energized. So this will be indicated by this lamp around here. And then at the same time, this PL2 will turn on. 
Okay, this PL2 will turn on because this will close here. Okay, let's try to click the, play, the PB2. Okay, on. And then if I'm going to release this uh, push button, it will off. Click again, on, release, off. Okay, so see you in the next lecture.